I'll put the grapes down. And now, I'm going to eat the hot dogs. Hello. Hi, baby. What you doing, Woody? Hello. Come on, buddy. Come on, girl. Dad's my girl. Come here, girl. Come here, buddy. Yes. So, Jim is in the house. He is running a little bit of a fever this evening, and he's just going to sit in there, I think. Um, plus, he has Connor on the recliner, and he doesn't like to move Connor. So, he may come out. Not sure. But we'll see. Hey, buddy. We went to see his sister today up in Anaganish, Kathleen. We had a really nice dinner with her. It was really nice. And we had a good visit. And then our drive home was wonderful. We took a back road that took us along the ocean. Um, and it was just really peaceful because it was like around sunset. And it was just really nice being able to look out the road. Hi, baby over the ocean and be able to see everything as the sun's going down. It was just really nice. Be nice. Hey, Krabby. Hey, girl. I'm going to try and give her some extra over here in the corner so she won't be so nasty to everyone. There we go. And um, I saw a lot of the comments about the screaming raccoons last night. Um, for those of you that don't do the Facebook. Um, I went out this morning at 6 a.m. Uh, our sun comes up between 5 and 5.30. And... I walked the entire perimeter all the way back in and it took me a good hour and I was looking for any signs of blood or anything that possibly you know had been hurt uh, an injured animal or possibly even a dead animal and I saw nothing so that made me feel good that there wasn't anything dead and it didn't look like anything had been drug off or anything then Jim got up probably around 10, 10, 10 30, and he was um, reading the comments on the Facebook page and he said, you told me about the screams last night and everything and I thought it was the babies, you know, but he says, I'm going to watch the video. Because he doesn't watch the videos, not every day. And he says, I'm going to watch the video. I've got to hear this. So, hey girl. He, he heard it and his eyes got really big and and he said that wasn't babies and I said what and he said Angie that was actually adults fighting over territory it's kind of like a territory war nothing like what we see here on the steps this is like a stranger Coming into a territory, especially with mothers with babies on the perimeter. Trying to come in and invade their territory and get their food. And that's where the fight kicked off. So, Jim says it's he's heard it before when he's been out here doing the midnight feedings and the 2 a.m. feedings. He said he's heard it before. I said, well, it's never been on camera. And his sister even said it. I've never heard that kind of noise. That's that's disturbing. And and he said, it happens when strangers come into the territory, and either the mothers or the males or both, and there's babies present, they go after them, full force. So that's what the noise was last night. Uh, he said that it was not babies being hurt. It was adults fighting. So that made me feel even better. So it put me really, really at ease. So, and Vicki from Indiana, I want to say thank you for you giving me your thoughts uh, about the mothers 
uh, protecting the babies every time they hear the screams in the house like that. All the mothers run to see what's going on. I appreciate that in case we ever hear anything like that again. Um, I know you take care of a lot of raccoons on your own, so I really do appreciate those comments. Come here, sweetheart. Come here, Miss Krabby. Hi, sweetheart. Hello. Is that you down there, Woody? Here you go, sweetheart. Hi. How you doing, Bandit? Mr. Pretty Face. He's got the most beautiful eyes, little matte white mask. Hey, Krabby. My goodness. You want the step. You're going to be a stair bully. I see that now. Oh, man. But around 40 minutes after uh, we turned the camera off last night. Here you go, baby. It's okay. Uh, Buddy and Scooter and uh, Sammy and Woody, they all came back. And if any of you all noticed, uh, I don't know if you noticed in the video, Furby did not leave my side. Uh, she stayed right here with me through it all. I don't know if she was looking for protection or if she was giving me protection. Not sure. But she stayed right here with me, and I thought that was just so sweet uh, for her to do that. Hi. Come here, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. But everybody seems to be okay today. Hey, Scooter. Come here, buddy. Leave him alone. Here, Bandit. Here, Scooter. Scooter's losing his winter fur. He's fracking, I think is what they call it, or fracking. And uh, he's lost the top part. He hasn't lost his back part, so he looks like he's got a buffalo cut. Um, it's kind of cute, but it's also kind of ugly. So, this is Scooter right here. Here, mister. Hey. As you can see from his bum, his fur looks rough. And his little cut, his cut on his neck. Here, Scooter. There, baby. It's okay. Come here, Krabby. Come here, girl. Come here, Scooter. Come here, little one. It's okay. Be nice. Oh, Bandit, you're being selfish. Here, Scooter. Here, hon. So it got up to 70 degrees here today. Very nice. It's been windy most of the day. I actually did a load of laundry and I hung them out on the line. And it took right at two hours for them to dry. And they smelled so fresh. It was really nice. So it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so what uh, I'm going to work on, there you go baby, work on tomorrow is up under the deck, I'm going to put my lights up, my solar lights, and uh, also, if I can catch it in between showers, I'm going to do some weeding around the yard and kind of like, you know, 
do some cleanup maintenance. So, that's what we're going to do. Yeah, hi. It's okay. You want some more scoot scoot? Hey, buddy. What do you want some more? There you go, girl. You watching out over there? You watching the babies? So I know Buddy's down there too. Did y'all notice that he took off last night along with Buddy to go check and see what was going on? He's a good little daddy. Aren't you a little man? Yes, you are. So we got lots of grapes out here. Uh, we went to eat at the Maritime Inn, and uh, Jim and his sister both got the fish and chips, and neither one of them could finish and the huge pieces. Uh, they gave them two each, and neither one of them could finish the second one. Jim just didn't even start on the second one. There you go, girl. And he brought them home. He says, I'm going to give them to the raccoons. And I said, that'd be a good idea. Because I know they'll love them. That's for sure. Right, Krabby? So in Thursday night's video, there was a comment, I wanted to point this out, that asked me, uh, can Jim and I really tell the difference in the raccoons? And the answer is yes. And when I answered the person in the comments, and the comments are still out there, I wrote down each individual raccoon and what makes them so unique so before I came up here and actually got a one-on-one -on -one visual of the raccoons I was already able to tell the difference in quite a few of them just from watching on camera so if you go in uh, to the comments I believe it's from Thursday night and you see uh, where the person asked can we tell the difference and you'll see a reply uh, from me or from Jim I think it's from me um, it's got a description of each individual raccoon and their mannerisms and their uniqueness what makes it to where we can tell the difference and we can uh, when you come out here with them each day you can tell the difference hey Scooter just like him. He scoots around. And he's a tiny raccoon. Um, he's smaller than most raccoons here. And he is, I believe, four or five, Jim told me. So. And this is Bandit. And you can tell the difference with him because of his eyes. He is, his mask that comes across here, first of all, is not black. Um, it is white across through here, and then it's kind of like a rusty brown on the second half. It doesn't go all the way across his eyes. And he's just got a really unique face. So, and he started coming here last year. He had a hurt eye. Um, Jim really nursed him back to health last year. And then I was talking about Chewy. Uh, for those of you that don't know Chewy, Chewy's the new raccoon that came to us this last February, and he came to us with chewed up ears. And we really put a lot of food in that little raccoon, trying to get him healed up. And his little ears have healed. He's got nubs, but he's got some ears, and that's what makes him <laughs> unique also. Be nice, Scooter. 
Hey, Woody, you ready? Here we go. Be nice. Ah. Woody, how can you tell the difference with her? She's very shy. She does not come up here when there is a very big crowd. Come here, hand it. And she stands up for her food quite often. Come here. Come on. Come here. Come on. This is Krabby. She has silver and black on her head. And her personality pretty much tells it all. She's a piece of work. There's Bandit right there. See the white around the tops of his eyes? He's a pretty little thing. Aren't you, little man? Huh? Here you go, girl. Now, Krabby, she's been around four or five years, I believe. She lives over in Raymond's barn. For those of you that don't know the story of her in Raymond's barn, she was over in Raymond's barn and uh, she was kind of cranky. And Raymond came over and told Jim about it and asked him if he could come over there and deal with her. And she knew Jim. And when Jim started talking to her, she calmed down. And Raymond hasn't had a problem out ever since. So that I thought that was pretty neat. You know, that Jim could go over there to the barn. Come here, baby. Come on. Come on. Hi. Come on. Come on. What you doing? Hello. You've got some beautiful fur. Yes, you do. You look like you've fallen out of a tree or something. Your head's skin up. Yeah. My goodness. Hey, girl. Come here, Bandit. Here you go. Here's Scooter. It's missing some fur. Yeah. But you got some pretty eyes. Yeah. I gotta get a good look at you. I think I know who you are. By the strap going down the middle of your head and a little black dot on the right side of your face. Hey, be nice. But I'm not 100% sure. Here you go. What is this, Scooter? What is it? What do you hear? What is it, buddy? What is it? Some more? What do you hear? Uh oh. I heard that too. Alright, everybody just left. It was something in the woods. Not sure what it was. It wasn't a baby, and it wasn't a raccoon. I'm not sure. I hear them going up trees. So that's a sign that there's doing the caution and danger, danger, danger. So we will go in and we will go see. I hear a dog. We'll go see Jim and Connor. Coming in. Coming 
in. What? Coming in. Oh. Hey. In my pajamas. Who's winning? One nothing. They uh, Carolina, Carolina still. Carolina scored and it was two nothing. The goal was just allowed. Ah, that makes same, twice. Same 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 what happened at Florida? Yeah. Well, there's Miss Charlotte. Yeah. Where's the little dude? I don't know. Hey, Charlotte. Say hello. Let me see if I can find him. I was telling him we had a busy day today. We went and saw your sister. Yeah, yeah. And one one sister is supposed to go with me and couldn't find her. Yeah. Oh. I was telling him about what you said about the screaming last night after you watched the video. Yeah, the older one. Yeah, that territory little, war. Little ones can't scream that loud. Oh, okay. No, but I hear that every year around this time, eh? Yeah. I'm glad you verified it for us because it unnerved well, a lot they, of people. What happens is the new ones come into the area and they run into one of mine and then all hell breaks loose. Yeah. They said, you don't belong here. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to turn the light off. All righty. We're going to go find Connor. See if we can find him. wonder where he is. Connor? This is odd. Well, he may be downstairs. There he is. There you are. Where have you been? Under the table waiting for you. Yeah. You missed me coming in. You couldn't get out the door. Yeah. Well, let's go see Sylvie. You gonna come with me, Connor? So we'll go see if we can find Sylvie. Maybe she'll come out for us today. See if we can find her. Come here. Here she comes. Hey, what you doing? Come here, baby girl. Come here, talk to me. Tell me what's going on. Huh? What you doing? What? Little Miss Shiny Coat. Come here. Come on. Come here to mommy. Yes. Yes, she's a good girl. She's a very good girl. What you got there? Your toys? Huh? You got your toys? Yeah, come here, turn around. Say hello. Are you going to say hello? Come here. Come on. We're going to go. Come here. I see you over there. Come on. Yeah. Say hello. You gonna you gonna rub up against everything? Come here. Well, she's not gonna be still. So I am gonna go. Y'all got a good look at her. And all her loud purring. Yeah, she's a good girl. Yeah. I'll be back down in just a little while, okay? Okay. 
Well, everyone have a wonderful Saturday night, what's left, and we shall talk to you all on Sunday. Okay? Thank you. Bye-bye.